Hey guys, what's up? Dale here, Northern Nostalgia Customs. Uh, I guess this would be update number three on the mini for Styrene Junkies contest. But before I get into that, I'd like to uh, give a huge thanks to uh, everybody who's subscribed to my channel. Uh, I'm not a big uh, I'm not a big guy on on stats or whatever. I'm not sure what uh, what I'm up to on subs, uh, you know, the numbers don't mean much to me, I'm just having a blast being, uh, you know, part of the community and, uh, doing the bills and stuff like that, but, uh, for all the people who subbed my channel, you know, big thanks, and secondly, I'd like to thank everybody who's left those incredible comments on my uh, build, uh, I was kind of taken back by by it, really. Um, I uh, don't know what to say. I was, you know, like I said, I was kind of blown away by it, and especially when you have a guy, a builder like uh, Nick Ambergy, who uh, you know leaves a comment saying he thinks I I haven't beat. Uh, Nobody's out of this, by any means, but, you know, when a guy uh, of that caliber leaves a comment like that on your channel, it, uh, you know, it kind of humbled me a bit. Uh, I was kind of blown away by it. I was blown away by all the comments from all you guys, like, like, you know, you heard it a million times. Uh, the guys in this community are, are a great bunch of guys, and, uh, you know, my hat's off to them all. But anyhow, uh, let me get into the mini here. Uh, I finally got some uh, paint on the roof. Yes, I do have a roof for it. Uh, I got my cage done. Uh, I had uh, I hacked up a cage out of an old uh, Christine parts kit that I had. Uh, there wasn't much in the kit, just the body and uh, bits and pieces of the cage. And the guy just you know gave it to me. But anyhow, I'll show you around here. Uh, got my uh, coil over springs. They got a little out of shape there from putting them in and out, motor in and out. Still got some touch up painting to do there. I'm going to wait till it's in, done, before I touch that up. Uh, you can see the plug wires, uh, you can see the fuel lines are run. Uh, you can see the brake lines are run. Uh, there's a brake booster stuffed down in there. I don't know if you can, oh yeah, you can, there you go. Stuffed in there. Uh, we'll spin you around. There's my, uh, line running back to, uh, my rad, which I had to mount in the back, because obviously there's uh, nowhere's in the front. Now spin you around into the interior. Uh, you can see uh, there. You go. You can see the there is pedals in there. Uh, you can see my line going from the steering wheel down to uh, into the dash. iPad doesn't uh, show it very well, but maybe I get some light down in here. Yeah, you can pick it up there a bit. But like I said in my previous video, I uh, I had to build the dash uh, the seats out of a die cast, but it, it fit pretty good. I was having trouble finding the seat. Um, like I said, I had to uh, build the dash. Got my uh, shifter in. Got my NOS bottle is in and mounted. My fire extinguisher. And 
found a home for my battery. Not much room in here. Uh, I'll stick the cage in and let you have a look at that. Sorry about that, guys. That's how uh, she looks with the cage in. Get back a bit. You can see the lines run down from the control box up there. Spin it around. There's where my uh, tranny is mounted. Or, my tranny, my rad's mounted. coming along. It's almost on. I'm getting there. I got uh, got my shoot line ran. There will be a shoot on the back of it once I get that figured out. But um, yeah, so that's what pretty. That's where I'm up to so far. That's coming along pretty good. Um, I can do another update once I throw the body on there. Uh, still got some work to do on the body. Still got some finishing touches to do on here. I'll show you the underneath. to run the solder exhaust headers uh, that was a bit of a chore that trying to fit them down through yeah aluminum drive shaft uh, went with the ladder bar suspension uh, you probably never see them I should have took a pick beforehand but there's some tiny little coilovers stuffed up in there um, it's a little rough here and there in different areas, but you know, trying to do a full out custom build in, uh, you know, four weeks. Luckily, I have uh, this week off to work on it, but um, let me see. Uh, I suppose I could set you down for a sec and uh, I'll slap the body on here real quick. Sorry about this, guys. Let me stare at the stash. Alright, sorry guys. There, I got the body stacked. There's a sneak peek of what she's going to look like when she's all done. Still got some work to do on the hood and on the body and that. It's, it's in there. Pretty nice. Yeah, anyhow, guys, that's uh, that's the mini. Like I said, I wish everybody the best of luck in the contest. Uh, wish everybody the best of luck in Chevy's 48-hour build. Um, still up in the air whether or not I'll be able to participate or not. Uh, I got uh, some family things going on this weekend, so. Uh, 
I may be able to uh, start something and probably won't be able to finish it but uh, still got some time to figure that out but anyhow guys this is running on a bit um, I'll uh, cut her off here and uh, you guys take her easy and we'll talk to you all later. Take her easy.